Hi everybody, it's Mark Schaefer with Full Frame Studios and today I want to do a quick video about the 75mm anamorphic lens being brought to us by Siri. Now they have a pre-sale going on in four days. On the 24th you can order this lens. It's about $670 US free shipping and that's about 25% off of their asking price. Now, I've kind of looked at the other lenses that they have that are excellent, which I own all three, of course. I own the 24 millimeter, the 35 millimeter, and the 50 millimeter anamorphic lenses. And this will be the 75 millimeter. Now, I already own three. Do I need a fourth one? Not really, but uh, why not? <laughs> um, what's 75 good for? Well, 75 is good for close-ups and uh, product shots, close-ups of any item like B-roll that you might want to get of like a foot. Um, any type of like, say if you're doing a murder film, maybe you want to get a close-up of the gun or a weapon or something like that. This would be an excellent lens for that. So is it 100% needed? Well, that really depends on what you need. And um, <clears throat> I'd like to know, are you guys interested in the 75? Now please make a comment below. Now my thoughts on this are this. Well, it's not really needed, but I've worked on a lot of shows as an actor, um, especially murder reenactment shows, and I've noticed that the director, the, the director of photography, they like to go to a longer lens when they're shooting close-ups of certain items. Like they usually call out a 100 millimeter. Now we're talking on cinema lenses here, like cook lenses and stuff like that, which are great. Don't get me wrong, cook lenses are awesome but they're also very pricey, you know, going for around $50,000 and up. Now this lens is merely, gosh, what is that? <laughs> one one hundredth of the price? <laughs> or a fiftieth of the price? Um, yeah, it's, it's basically that. It's about one, one seventy-fifth of the price. Um, and um, one great thing about this lens, it's a 1.8 aperture, so you can get more bokeh and uh, there's some test footage that I'm going to go through right now um, that's been brought to us by Siri from the Siri website. So nothing really new. So we have a lady on a horse. There she goes. We've got a bird. Yay. A horse's head. Once again, close-ups. A lot of close-ups. And the bokeh in the background looks great. Um, we got, of course, the blue anamorphic uh, streaks. Um, I'll probably be ordering this lens. Uh, I don't see why not. I mean, I have a credit card, so there you go. Every year I do it. Go in debt, at the end of the year I paid off. So um, so I can't wait to get this lens, get it in my hands, and uh, try it out myself. Um, anamorphic, I love it for making horror films. I think it just adds a little something. I do not always use anamorphic lenses, I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> we made a uh, movie about magicians uh, for the last uh, 48 hour film festival, and we did not use anamorphic lenses. I didn't feel like this, particular film project needed anamorphic lenses so we just went with the uh, stock uh, Fuji lens the 18 to 55 which lended itself well to quick run and gun photography um, and then the next video here I'm kind of skipping ahead here we're gonna go to the one about the motorcycles now once again if you'll notice you can get wide shots on this thing you can get great wide shots um, you just, of course, have to step back, you know, about 20, 30 feet and you get a wide shot. And it looks awesome. Look at these shots of the motorcycle. We've got, um, there we go, we've got the license plate close-up. We've got um, some grass and a foot. Exactly what I was talking about, close-ups. So um, that's what this is for. It's kind of a specialty lens, but there's nothing wrong with it. If you get this lens, you can always get wide shots. You just really have to have like mics that are close to your actors. Or you can just get wide shots and kind of interject them into close-ups. Because when you're super wide, you can't really see the mouse anyways. So if you're really wide and really far back, you could probably use almost any footage, unless the actors are doing big actions, <clears throat> it'll match. It'll it'll look like it was part of it. And you got you gotta remember you can shoot everything close up and then intercut the wide shots in there. So you could get away with one lens doing that with this lens, the 75 millimeter. It's doable. And um, another reason why I would get this lens is just, I go back to it, 1.8 millimeter, uh, I'm sorry, 1.8 aperture, super bokeh, you know, the flares and lens flares always look great with these lenses. Um, I think the 35 was the one um, that didn't come out too long ago. That one had like green and blue, which was kind of cool. 
And um, that's about it, guys. Please leave me a comment, a like, and a subscribe. Talk to you later.